What's up everyone? We're at America's largest RV show and behind me is a Ford F600 6.7 liter with a Jayco camper that's 4x4. Four four. This is kind of Jayco breaking into the overland off-road scene in my opinion. They may have done stuff like this before but I haven't really seen it so I'm excited to show you this unit in today's video. Hey. My name's Phil. And I've been living in a 4x4 truck camper for the last five years while making videos of other quality off-road campers that I think are down to mob. So this one's cool. This one's got a little bit more of a topographic kind of wrap on the outside, um, which I definitely like. A nod again to the overland off-road space. And uh, yeah, with, you know, these things being just at about a quarter of a mil, Jayco is really giving you some options versus the super high-end half a million dollar 4x4 off-road campers such as earth roamers and earth cruisers and things like that so big old awnings on these things and this one having the big ford truck front end we like that the six seven liter diesel that's a cool unit nice big old bumper on that bad boy look at that f650 six seven liter Looks like a, a nice unit for sure. Looking at some exterior features, 30 foot, two inches overall length. No slide outs, we like that for four by four, having no slide outs. Um, it is a dually, so if you want to go real crazy, you could do a buck stop, super single conversion, bigger tires, you'd have to cut the crap out of that wheel well. <laughs> I don't know how that would work, but you could. Um, but yeah. Ooh, I like this exterior storage going all the way through for your big stuff. You could even fit a kayak in there. Nice windows, though. I really like the uh, the body. Honestly, fiberglass looks to be molded really well. Jayco, I think you did pretty good on this one. Let's go walk in this one and see what it looks like here. Look at that through Ford Super Duty front end, baby. Boom, that truck is four wheel drive. That's awesome. Look at that. This is a pretty look, comfy looking uh, pass through. Let me get in the front seat and show you what it looks like. All right, so, right in the driver's seat, just like that. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, this would be so cool, you guys. Just I'm pretty stoked about this camper, but I wanted to take a moment before we show you the rest of the interior details to let you know if you like my content and the work that I'm doing to bring you these camper walkthroughs and you also want exclusive content, exclusive merchandise, chances to connect with me one on one and to support the channel and be a part of the down to mob team, check out patreon.com slash down to mob and let's get back to all the details of this beautiful camper. Shut her down. Climb right out. That's really easy to get into. I've definitely seen a lot tighter pass-throughs. That one, very comfy to get in and out. I dig it. Um, tons of overhead storage. So that's neat. For this is a 24. Okay. The prototype. Oh, cool. So this is what they put it together, bring it to the show. You got your big uh, electric bed that comes together. Boom. You got a couple of lagoon tables. Mm -hmm. You can leave it like this because that big bed, 750 pound bed up front, that size big and wide with a low access point, be great for two adults just to get in. Mm -hmm. Big bed up here, nice big Furion fridge. Look back here, I got it's got the kitchen here, so sink, induction, two induction burners there, big old microwave, that might even be an air fryer, um, oven kind of combo been digging that they're putting air fryers in RVs now. Air fryers are so looks like a little control panel there. Yep, it is touch screen. So we're pulling 116 watts of solar right now. That's not a whole lot. 11.3 volts. A little bit low. So I don't know if that thing's plugged in or just running off solar right now. But anyways, I like the layout. Love that. Big back dinette, you guys, that's cool. This would be so cool though. 
Yeah, it's coming in. You got two table mounts there. I'm gonna put a table around that big dinette. This is a pretty cool unit. And honestly, I gotta say, oh, 107. That's what you save. Um, it's priced at $209,981. That makes a lot more sense. Off road quality build. This would be five six hundred thousand <laughs> so that's actually not that bad a price um might seem like a lot comment below let me know what you think of that price check that out they got the tv here Move the televator here mm -hmm. and you'll replace oh TV. televator so that goes down that goes down <laughs> and then you can just come hang out back here this is rad nice big dry bath here really modern looking like styling i like it a lot um rvs are getting a lot more modern and i love that it's nice to see like it look this looks really quality actually i like it um this sink really neat sink i don't know why there's no water in it that's okay and then uh pretty nifty looking shower cassette toilet i'd assume nice window there big old storage this thing is neat I dig it. Yeah, it's a convection microwave, so look at that big old one. But I think this is a pretty neat unit. We've got, oh, I like the storage over the bed here. Um, lots of different cubby options. Put your water right there for when you're sleeping. I always like to sleep with water next to me, so that's good. Maybe put your, whatever you got, your book or whatever you're reading in there. Um, I don't see any power. Oh, there it is but I don't see any USBs. I just see the 110 plugs. USBs by the bed would be nice. Um, looks like that's like the slide controls over there and then a curtain, which is nice to keep some privacy. And then this um, motorized. Wow, look at that. That's fancy, motorized, do not pull down. That's a pretty neat uh, little shade there. Look at that, dinette. I said it, the homies, it would fit the homies. What do you guys think? Yeah, man, definitely uh, spacious enough. Absolutely, I mean, like, look at this this bed space. And yeah. my, my wife could sleep on the bed over there. Yeah, the uh, the old hey, cab over. sleep over there. <laughs> <laughs> More like the other way around. I'll be sleeping over there because I sleep yeah, too There's much. like a pop-up TV situation over here. You could be sleeping yeah. over here chilling. Yeah. Elevator TV deal, sinks down in, fancy. dry bath. Yeah, plenty of room. Straight up James Franco. And then this goes back up too, but that goes down, and this whole thing makes a big bed. Yeah, absolutely. It's almost like a king size bed. Yeah, it's probably big. You can like sleep with the dogs. It's huge. And then, like, not have a problem. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the dogs. What about that price point, though? What That's, do you think? I think it's, I mean, it's two hundred nine thousand. Yeah. But you save $107,000 at the show, apparently. Apparently. You think that's real? <laughs> no, I don't think it's real. Uh, I've known campers long enough to know that's that's all shit. It's a lot of money. Compared to it. It's the same. Something else. But $200,000, I actually don't think that's a bad price for this at all. No, You'd it's spend not. eighty grand on the truck, yeah. minimum. It's, it's and then, an yeah. well, no, the F six hundred, yeah, it could be over a hundred grand. Yeah, absolutely. And then I, this whole home. I was gonna say, if you live on the road, that would be a good price point. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, if you're gonna consider it a home. Yeah. And you want a four by four, it's hard to beat yeah. this price point mm -hmm. with this big this build. Yeah, really neat. Lots of space to hang out. I like the rear dinette. Um, I'm sure this turns into a bed, but uh, yeah, having the bed over the cab is uh, not my first choice, um, but check it out. I believe this is the same unit here. But yeah, this one's got a different interior layout, so let's go check it out. Wow, this layout is cool. Right. 
does have USBs by the bed, right there. You've got the bathroom with the dry bath, pretty similar bed and bathroom, but it's all the way at the end. And then up here, you've got a lot more of a social kind of space. This one is definitely my favorite because it's got a real bed down low. You don't have to sit in a cab over bed. Um, which is tough to say because the rear dinette in the last one was really cool. But yeah, I would no doubt go with this model because you've got, oh, you've also got this bed. So you got more sleeping area in this one than the other one. And uh, just as much interior room to hang out. So I would no doubt go with this floor plan for sure. A lot of vehicles. How does it feel looking back and seeing all this home? I mean, you're up here in the front and you feel like you're just driving a truck and then you look behind you and you're like, oh, shit, there's a house behind me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love that it's a 4x4 unit. That's usually the videos I make are 4x4 oh, cool. off-road kind of campers. And yeah, it's cool to see Jayco kind of breaking into... Um, oh. No slides on this one, if you notice. Yeah. No slides. Yeah. It seems like a, a pretty good off-road style camper, like for, for the space yeah. of it. I, I like 12, it a lot. 12,000 pounds. 12,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. So you could tow your rock crawler, your boat, whatever All you got. All those things. Anything you want to tow. Yeah. Well, thank you for showing us, Absolutely. Daniel. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Appreciate you taking the time. It's Absolutely. a busy show here with over 60,000 people attending, so we're... Uh, thankful Daniel spent a little time explaining it but so stoked to see a big 4x4 uh, truck camper home on wheels here at America's largest RV show thank you guys for watching check the next episode and comment what you think of this if you are down to mind